Okay, so we are now on part 3 of our lecture. So, during our previous lecture, you have already been introduced to different concentration units. So, alam na natin yung percent by mass, percent volume, percent mass over volume. Na-introduce ko na din yung mole fraction, molarity, and molality. So, this part, magsusolve tayo. So, please, no, try to memorize these formulas. They would really come in handy kasi kahit mag-study kayo ng higher chem, ito talaga yung basic. So, it's, I really advise that you memorize these formulas. So, let's try for solving this one. So, this problem is about mole fraction. Ayan, mole fraction. May sagot na siya, but I will elaborate step by step, no? So, a solution is prepared by mixing 25 grams of water. So, 25 grams of water. 25 grams of ethanol. So, this is the chemical formula for your ethanol. Pwede din yan, no? Yung C2H5OH. Determine the mole fractions of each substance. So, sabi ko, kung ilan yung components ng ating mixture, ng ating solution, ganun kadami yung calculations for mole fraction. So, dahil dalawa, yung components ng ating solution, we have component A here and we have component B, ang calculation din natin ay dalawa. Pero, sabi natin, pag mole fraction, di ba? Paano ba ang formula? Sige, ilagay muna natin yung formula. Yung mole fraction ni A, which is water, paano ang formula niyan? That would be mole of A over mole of A plus mole of B. Next, mole fraction of B or your ethanol, that is mole of B over mole of A plus mole of B. The problem is, actually it's not a problem, the thing is, uh, the... Numbers given in this problem is nakagram. So, we need to convert this to mole. And how do you convert to mole? So, let's convert 25 grams of water to mole. What would be the conversion factor for this one? The conversion factor will be 1 mole of water is equal to its molecular weight in grams. So, kung titignan natin yung ating periodic table, what is the atomic weight of hydrogen it's 1.01 oxygen is 16 ilan ang atoms ng hydrogen dito dalawa so times 2 and then ilan yung atoms ng ating oxygen isa lang so times 1 so the total for this one would be 18.02 so 18.02 grams so to get the mole of water this would be equal to 25 grams of water over 1 mole of water over 18.02 grams. So, bakit nasa baba yung 18.02? Kung ano yung nandito, dapat yun yung nasa baba para mag-cancel. So, according to this, this is equal to 1.39 mole ng water. So, same goes for ethanol. So, the mole of ethanol is equal to what? CH3CH2OH. Ayan. Ang conversion factor natin dito would be 1 mole of ethanol. Ayan. Is equal to its molecular weight in grams. So, enumerate muna natin yung atoms. It is carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. So, ano ang atomic weight ng ating carbon? It's 12.01. Si hydrogen, ilan? Hydrogen is 1.01 and oxygen is equal to 16. So, you multiply this by the number of atoms. So, ilan si carbon dito? Isa, dalawa. So, you have two, uh, two atoms of carbon. And then, for hydrogen, you have 3, 5, 6. So, you have 6 atoms of hydrogen. And then, 1 atom of oxygen. The total for this one is 46. 0.08. Ayan. So, convert now. Ilan yung ating ethanol? 25 grams din. So, yung mole ng ating ethanol is now equal to 25 grams. Ayan, kung nalilito kayo, you always start with the given, no? 25 grams of ethanol. Tapos, yung gram nasa baba para mag-cancel. 46.08. 1 mole of ethanol. So, these cancels out. So, your, the mole of your ethanol is 0.543 mole. Ayan. 
So, ito yan. Dito sa PowerPoint. Ito na yan. So, dahil meron ka na ng mole ng component A and component B mo, ayan, so meron na tayong mole ni component A and ni component B, we can now solve, no, for the mole fraction of component A and the mole fraction of component B. Ayan. So, this would be the formula, no? So, let's solve for the mole fraction of component A. So, the mole fraction of component A is mole of A over the total sum of the number of moles, mole of A plus mole of B. Okay. So, substitute the mole of A is 1.39 mole. And the mole of A, again, is 1.39 mole plus the mole of B, 0.543 mole. So, the result is how much? 0.719 mole. So, sino si component A natin? Ito si water. Ayan. Ayan, di ba? Napakadali. Okay. My question is, may unit ba dapat ang sagot? Wala po. Mole fraction is unitless. Why? Nagka-cancel yung units mo. Ayan. So, mole fraction is unitless. Now, for the component, mole fraction of the component B, that would be mole of B over mole of A plus mole of B. So, this is equal to mole of B, 0.543 mole over 1.39 mole plus 0.543 mole. So, mole of B, mole fraction of B is 0.281. Bakit po wala? Bakit po walang unit? It is unitless kasi magka-cancel yung ating units. So, this is 0.281. Sino yung component B mo? That is ethanol. So, dapat pag pinag-add mo yung resulting mole fractions, they should be equal to 1. So, 0.719 plus 0.281. That is equal to 1. Kung hindi man sakto sa 1, approximately equal to 1. Ayan. Next! Now, we are to solve for molarity. So, for number 2, what is the molarity of a solution? containing 28 grams of sodium chloride per 1 liter of solution. So, what is the formula for molarity? So, molarity is symbolized by capital M and the formula is mole of solute over the liter of solution. So, direct substitution na ba agad? Hindi pa natin masasubstitute ito. Ito yung ating solute eh. Iko-convert muna natin ito sa mole. So, let us first convert 28 grams of sodium chloride to mole. So, ganun pa din. Ang ating conversion factor would be 1 mole of sodium chloride. It is equal to its molecular weight in grams. So, sa ating periodic table, ang sodium is 23. Ang atomic weight, si chlorine ay 35.45. So, this would be equal to... Uh, 58.45 Pero dito sa ating PowerPoint Kung titingnan ninyo 58.44 Kung ang gagamitin ninyong molecular weight ng sodium Ay 22.99 Okay lang, walang problema So this would be 58.44 Maliit lang yung discrepancy niyan no? So 1 mole of sodium chloride Is equal to 58.44 grams O nakuha na natin Yung molecular weight Alam na natin yung conversion factor natin. Convert na natin. So, 28 grams. So, sa baba yung grams para mag-cancel, syempre. Tapos, 1 mole ng sodium chloride sa taas. So, this is equal to how many moles of sodium chloride? 0.479 mole. So, meron ka na ng mole ng solute mo. I-substitute na lang natin dito sa ating formula. So, molarity is now equal to 0.479 mole over 1 liter. Ayan. So, the unit would be 0.479 molar. Molar. You can write it as mole per liter, pero usually ang ginagawa natin is uh, capital M na lang, no? So, that is molar. Yung maliit, yung molality, molal. Ayan. Ayan. Ito na. Okay. So, for problem number 3, we are asked 
to calculate for the molality molality of a sulfuric acid solution. So that is H2SO4. Sulfuric acid. Ayan. I hope hindi pa natin nakakalimutan yung chemical formulas ng ating common acids. No? Containing 24.4 grams of sulfuric acid in 198 grams of water. So you have 24.4 grams of your H2SO4. Na dissolve daw siya saan? Sa 198 grams ng water. So, ang pinapahanap sa atin dito, class, is molality. So, ano ang formula ng ating molality? That's symbolized by small letter M. So, that is mole of solute over kilogram of your solvent. So, again, just convert this again to mole. So, you have to convert this to mole. Hindi mo pwedeng isubstitute yan agad kasi nakagram siya eh. So, H2SO4, let's convert it to mole. So, let's get the atomic weight, the molecular weight of the compound. Ayan. Okay. So, sa periodic table, si hydrogen ay 1.01, si sulfur ay 32.07, si oxygen ay 16. So, multiply this by 2. Kasi dalawa, two atoms of hydrogen. Sulfur multiplied by one and oxygen multiplied by four. Because you have four atoms of oxygen. Ayan, sige, multiply muna. And get the sum. Plus 16 times four. So this is equal to 98.09. Ninety-eight point zero nine grams. Ayan, nandito na pala sa ating PowerPoint, no? Sinabi niya, molar mass of sulfuric acid is ninety-eight point zero nine. Pero kinumpit pa din natin. Anyway, that's okay, no? At least na-review kayo. So, molar mass and molecular weight, that's just the same. So, how do we convert now this 24.4 grams of sulfuric acid to mole? So, ang ating conversion factor would be one mole of sulfuric acid is equal to 98.09 grams. So, start with the given. Ano yung given sa atin? 24.4 grams ng sulfuric acid. Okay? So, sa baba yung grams. Bakit nasa baba yung grams? Para po mag-cancel. Ayan. So, this cancels out and this one as well. So, the resulting number of moles is 0.249 mole ng sulfuric acid. So, pwede na ba tayo mag-substitute? Pwede na. May mole ka na ng solute. Pero, class, we cannot use this one. Kasi nakagram siya. So, you have to convert this to kilogram, di ba? So, that is your solvent. How do you convert that to kilogram? You divide it by 1,000. So, if you divide this by 1,000, this becomes 0.198 kilograms. So, can we now substitute? Yes, pwede na tayo mag-substitute, no? Kasi na-convert na natin silang lahat. So, the molality of this solution is, ilan yung moles natin? 0.249, no? So, mole of solute, 0.249 mole, over the kilogram of solvent, 0.198 kilogram. What is the value for molality? Ayan, the value for molality is 1.26 m. Ayan. 1.26 m. So, 1.26 molal. Kapag molarity, molar. Kapag molality, molal. Ayan. Okay. So, now, I'm going to introduce the concept of dilute concentration units. Um, but before that, I want you to practice on solving on this molarity, mole fraction, and molality, then I will introduce this dilute concentration units on our next session. Ayan. Thank you so much. See you then.